Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to discuss about unrestricted file upload. Later, how we can able to escalate it to remote code execution. So in general, when I'm doing any kind of pen testing on any web applications, I'll go through each and every endpoint and I will try to see what are the functionalities that the product has. So out of the functionalities, I will always prefer to choose a uh, file upload because it, it can have multiple vulnerabilities. So when you are doing any pen testing on an application, then you can figure out all the file upload functionalities. So let's quickly see uh, what is unrestricted file upload and how we can do a uh, remote code execution by uploading any kind of web shell into it. So for the sake of demonstration, uh, I am using bar lab. So if I go here, if I click on my account, it is asking me the username and password. I'm just entering. So if you can see under my account, yes, I have one file upload that is uh, image file upload so if i can click on browse i am browsing and i am uploading one image let me upload it see the file has been uploaded okay and it was here author slash art authentication let me see that uh, request okay the file okay my account slash my account return to previous page okay here is the request file upload request let me send it to repeater now what i want to see is uh, i want to see uh, the server is expecting only the images but what if i upload any kind of html files or csv files or any php shells can it uh, accept that so i should check that whether uh, there is a restriction of the file upload or not so for that i'll just change content type as text slash html and file name smart authentication html so i'll remove the entire content of it so i will remove entire image content I'll replace it with uh, my HTML content. So I just removed. So now I want to insert some HTML content. I just want to see whether there is a unrestricted file exist or not. Some where he slash p hello i am trying to upload it see the file author slash auth authentication html has been uploaded okay that means uh, it is suffering with unrestricted file upload there is no uh, checks from the uh, server end uh, what file extension that we are submitting and what mime tape that we are sending and what are the content so there is no validation for content type extension and the file content so i can able to upload any file that i want back to my account see if i go to my account since i uploaded a html file let me see whether i'm able to access that html file or not let me copy this uh, image link and let me paste it here see hello see here I have inserted uh, hello in HTML now I'm able to uh, access this file so I'm able to upload any kind of files plus I'm able to access those files from the server so what if I upload any kind of web shell to the server and uh, in return can i get any remote code execution that i need to know we have uploaded successfully the html file now 
I want to upload a PHP uh, web shell uh, to read the content from the secret file which is existing in slash home slash carlos uh, slash secret so now i'll search for php script to read the content from a file okay if i go here this is the script right uh, so i'll just simply um, paste it here so here i'll mention slash home slash carlos slash secret so i'll mention the file name as exploit php what is the mime type for php let's search that mime type for php Mantefa dot PHP files text slash PHP. So these are the MIME types. So I'll just simply paste text slash PHP. I'm trying to upload. Okay, of course, exploit.php has been uploaded. So now let's see what this file contains. What is the content that this file has so the then let's simply go here and refresh it so let me open this image in new tab let's see see this is the content that is existing within that file so in this way you can uh, able to identify the unrestricted file upload by changing the file extension file content type and content of the file if it is existing then you can play with it here i have uploaded a web shell to read the content of the given file yeah that's all for today guys thank you